Xlander and Project X. We're here on Sal TV right now. I'm joined by Stabby. Hello. Uh, well, they're saying I may be too low in volume. I'll work on that. I'll work on it. Looks like both teams are running Uber. Uh, pretty, pretty expected, but uh. Yeah. Um. So I was just fixing volume. So uh -huh. Uber on this map, Uber on most payload maps is pretty standard, right? Uh, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, you always see a lot of crits. People love crits in Highlander, but uh, for the start at least, you know, it's so hard to get out. Blue almost always runs Uber, and sometimes you'll see Red try to catch him off guard with the crits. It's, it's a sort of spawn where you can really stuff him in there, but yeah, it's a common choice. It's like once that crits is over, though, the blue team is gonna respawn in you know eight seconds or whatever it is, and so the, the crits is over, and then it's like, oh, now what do we do? Right, right. Yeah, it's not gonna. They're just gonna respawn. Didn't buy you much time. Mission begins in It's all about the time on stopwatch. So the um, you've played this map before, right? Five. Oh yes. Okay. Been Three, stream, uh, streaming it this two, week. I would figure you being on that platinum team, the Syndicate, you guys have probably scrimmed quite a lot in Uh Nice little sticky trap locations. The scout's gonna walk out here and die. The scooter going down first. So I'm glad you oh. got this kid the time. But uh, now nah, Dude is a pretty good player. And right now it looks like actually Mr. Black's going down without popping his Uber, so that is a uh, dropped Uber for blue. Not a fun thing to do. Ooh, we got some key spy action going on uh, over here. Looks like the spy stalking the red engineer. That's gonna be a really key target. Blue team's putting some pressure on that. Oh, Sentry's down. Didn't have to sap it. That's good. Where is he? I'm watching Blue Bear. Oh, I'm watching him now too. He's doing a lot of hopping around. That's what I like to see. Some good juking. Running vanilla spy, it looks like. It's like cloak and dagger, actually. Other than that, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. And that sentry was trying to get up, but it is down once again. Uh, Dude, we already popped here for our red team, so they're going to be sitting back here. Max Lander on the defense. With all their little Max heads. All of them. Max heads. They're, uh, <laughs> they're actually losing a lot of players here to Project X. Those XTV guys doing work right now. They got to deal with a, uh, a nice little combo. Good shot by the sniper to take down the shocker. And so it looks like right now the uh, red team defense is centered around that first point, but uh, they may end up dying here pretty fast. Uh, what do you know about this map as far as how it's defended? Um, you know, we're still figuring it out. It's, it's an odd map. Um, but, uh, you know, in, in payload, it's, it's always about that sentry. Once that's down, you want to 3 exit cars once you get an advantage. Oh, both Ubers popped. It's like... Yeah, Red Uber popped a lot right. later, so they're going to try and buy some time, I guess, standing on the point with that demo man. But they don't have a lot of stickies on it right now. They're doing some good damage, but the heavy and silver are going to push it up to the first point. Close, anyway. Close, but now... Yeah, well, now, now we've got to go into this, this little building here, which can, can be uh, a bit of a pain. Uh, just that small little... Distance they have to push it there can actually be pretty tough if uh, the red team kind of stuffs that room and repels them from touching that card. Looks like they did pretty well. Uh, the question is whether the sentry can get built in time. It looks like he's going to build one right here over on the side. There's a little bit of metal down behind it, so as soon as that comes back up, you can finish that sentry up with level two. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's a neat little location for the sentry. It's very protected. It's going to stop people from pushing that card too easily. But Bill's coming in and they take it down. Watch Retro on the Soul as he jumps up and tries to do a little spam here. They're kind of waiting, I think, for their Uber, but really they shouldn't. There's only three players left on the red team. There you go. We'll push forward. Cart should get it now. There you go. Retro and uh, Amare, or a mare. Is a mare? He's just like a horse. <laughs> Hoping to get that kill on the med. Mr. Black, 100% Uber, not going to have to pop it anytime soon, but there's a spy coming in. Whoa. Good work on the heavy. Um, yeah, that's a very important pick for this point. Um, heavy can really sit in that card, absorb a lot of damage, and real hard to take down with other glasses. Where, where does Blue want to push the Uber though? Because it seems like they're kind of holding on to it. Um, do they want to preserve it for taking down the enemy medic, or is there going to be a sentry location? What do you think? Well, first they need to get gathered together to know what they want the push to do. Um, right now, the Blue medic's at 14 health, so he's not even thinking about that. Um, once the team gets gathered up, we'll see where Red is, and uh, they can either go left or, I believe, right. So, <laughs> not a whole lot of choices. Just gonna have to choose between one of those two. Okay, they're gathered up now, so we're gonna see. Looks like they're going right. Uh, not exactly I don't know. Red, Red is pretty scattered right now, so that's not great for an Uber, actually. You want them 
actually too dense, and that sentry is way far back, so they really want to hold on to that Ubers for as long as possible. But, oh, looks like they popped it. Yeah. Try and take down the med. I think they can actually. Oh, they got him. Uh, yeah. Prosperity down. Uh, that kind of describes most of America right now, actually. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you the 99%? I'm the 99%. Oh, I'm much lower than that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we got some good, uh, good offense right now by Project X. It's like a they're not steamrolling, I wouldn't say, because they haven't had the cart moving the entire time. But, um, compared to some of the games I've played, the pickup games on this map, it seems Ooh, like big pick coming cool. in. Oh, uh, spy missed the medic, got the sniper though. Ready? Oops. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Sorry. No, it's all good. Um, so how important is sniper on this part? It looks like the boost getting a good kill there on blank. Blank. Oh, the oh, and these long straight corridors, huge, and he's just a j oh wow, nice little double up there. Um, He's a huge threat to the medic. Um, really keeps the medic from peeking out and makes him hang back and be less aggressive. So, um, yeah, he's a big deal at this point. I like this heavy Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Nice little spot. Good, uh, oh, good attack by the heavy, waiting until the Shirati went down to jump in, but actually he got taken down real fast there uh, by the demo. Did not really expect it all. Caboose down to like 25 health. Moonbear with a double stab, though! Ooh. Down the heavy and medic and the, the medic dropped Uber, Mr. Black. And sadly, the spy does die, but you know, he did his job already. Yeah, one, one thing the spy could be doing, uh, great pick, um, is actually, uh, now would be a good time to go for a sniper pick, because I noticed he's running Jurati instead of the Razorback, and um, even just by kind of annoying that sniper into running the Razorback, you can get rid of those big P-bombs on the cart, you know, sort of a... If, if, if the sniper is running Razorback, the spy's doing his job, basically. And Jurati's a big deal at this point. So it's just... Yeah, so you're trying to play those uh, mind games a little bit as the spy, then uh, help your team oh, as much wait. as you can. Looks like the blue's pushing pretty hard. Oh, wow, just heavy at the moment. Yeah, this this hat combo on this heavy, by the way. He did just die. Good stab once again by Mookie. Really, uh, showing his stuff, but... Man, that heavy's hat combo. The, the pink brain slug and the pink beard just looks wacky. No, I have to pick. Project X is another one of those positions where they're like all up and their opponents only have you know, three or four players on the field. Uh, they did get a bunch of respawns, but they are spawning all the way back at last, and that's going to take a while. Plus, there's no sentry up here. Uh, in the pugs I've played, usually there's a sentry on this catwalk. What's happening? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, he's, he's putting it farther back. Maybe he thinks that he was going to push up too far um, too quickly. Oh, did Mr. Black just drop another Ruby? He did. He is sizzling right now. Man, that guy does not like popping those Ubers. No, sir. Uh, Caboose does come in and get a nice little stab on Prosperity. So Ooh! He's gonna even things up for his team. Good defense no so take, far just by, yeah, by uh, Red Team. But man, they're, they, they gave up a point, which means there's more flank routes open and Blue gets a uh, forward spawn. Right. Now, what are the respawn times on this map? That's something I <laughs> forgot to check um, and should know for my, my match. Uh, uh, I'm not sure how it how it changes. Uh, uh, is blues longer than reds, uh, or are they equal yeah. for this I map? Think oh, red spike on the medic. Usually, that's how it works on defense. So. Right. But I don't know. I have checked it. Anyway, Sentry is in this nice little location over here. It's, it's could be easy to flank. We see Caboose, you know, silhouetted right now, uh, deep cloaking. He's gonna come in and lay down the sap. Nice cross. Yeah, there you go. Perfect sap. Then he gets a soldier too. <laughs> that he does. All right. right. Watch the Moonbear cam now, and in honor of Stabby here, we're gonna watch a lot of spy cam today. Uh, yes. Cloaking up, he's gonna try and sneak in on the cart, or maybe just hang out back here for a little while. He wants to get some kills, but uh, right now most of his team is dead. These kills are gonna be really important. You know, kill the med or get something important. Here, right? Ooh, ooh, that would have been a big stab. Oh. Would have been. Could've maybe. Been I mean, I, yeah. I suppose it didn't really matter because Red came in with the Uber and mowed him down. But uh, yeah, interesting choice of him to run Cloak and Dagger. You don't see that very much. Um, but it works in maps like this where it's, you're on red and you're just kind of waiting around for that right pick, that right time to go, and <laughs> not needing to do a lot of movement. Just oh, I missed something again. <laughs> oh, life of a spy. So I'm going to watch the Clownfish cam now. So he's uh, trying to take on Retro there from XTV. And Retro wanted some shout outs, but he also said not to watch it. Because, and I quote, not bad. <laughs> the 
they are going to play, I think, two maps. They're playing Borneo and possibly Badwater. Um, sniper just hanging out very near spawn right now. Griever playing all the way from New Zealand on the Sniper for the Project X team. And uh, people are asking why I'm not playing Medic, and you know what? I don't know. I keep telling people I'm not going to play in the league because I don't really have the time for it, so maybe that's why. But, uh, I, you know, at the beginning of the summer, they were like, hey, we're doing Medic for our broadcasting team. And I was like, yeah, I'll do it. And they started practicing without me, and I was like, oh, okay. What? <laughs> uh, no, no, uh, no offense taken. I really don't have the time to, like, scrim at first, you know, consistent leagues. Yeah. But, uh, that's right. a blue team incoming with a 67% Bieber. And they are getting ready to uh, make it through a push, but they've lost a lot of players. And that looks like the, the world's most standard Borneo since the vacation, too. Mm hmm. Ooh, we got Scout getting real aggressive going for that medic from a pretty big distance. Wonder what he's trying to do there. Well, no uh, I suppose he was desperately trying to force the top. But... Yeah, that's odd. Wow, that Uber really fell flat in his face. That could have gotten the sentry. It, Not well, sure the what happened. Now, oh, really? Okay. Uh, I don't know what killed it exactly, but it is scattered and destroyed. The dispenser is on fire. Man, wouldn't it be cool if, like, in StarCraft, the dispensers, if they were on fire, like, slowly lost health until they died? I think we need to make this happen. Oh, I'll email Robin or Gabe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, neither of them actually works on the other yeah, yeah, same surprise. I, I, you know, I think they, they check they, in now and then, right? Well, I mean, they, they every so often, but they they don't do any of the coding or any of the important stuff. Oh, sure. It's all, uh, it's, it's Team all Fortress the, staff is like five people, right? It's, it's a pretty small well, operation at this point. I don't really know how much of that, I just know that Robin doesn't work on that more. He's too gotcha. busy with, like, Dota and other other stuffs on the pipeline. Maybe Gabe and I suppose is busy eating. Oh, oh, oh no, now Ouch, I'm never did I go there? Three. I think I went there. Every time you say that, Half-Life 3 is delayed another month. Why would you do that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. No, at any rate, there's, uh, there's going to be 100% Uber for Red Team, so we'll be able to hold on to this for a little while. And I mean, that's kind of the story here on uh, on Borneo, is this last point seems really easy. Right. Kind of standard for Halo, because... Oh, oh, did you say easy? I thought you were yeah. going to say hard. They've been holding this for a little bit. Oh, I don't... You know, I mean, uh, I've only gotten into that... Four spins and haven't been playing the map before this, so I'm no expert, but I, I suppose there are three entrances. But uh, yeah, typically last is is that that tough point that's uh, you know good for holdouts and the dramatic finishes, you know. Yeah, and, uh, but I, I don't know about this map. Although another nice little counter pop by our red team, keeping everybody alive pretty much because the blue team of course too busy focusing on the section. couldn't get any other damage down. They've lost their head now. Uh, and is this the same blank as he played like? Uh, Fight demo, I think. Oh, are you thinking of Bandit? No, Bandit with the, the fourth thing. But Blank used to play some, uh, some DSEA as well. So oh, that's cool. I think it might be good. Uh, He's doing fun. some pretty nice jumping, so uh, I would leave it. Yeah, nice shot there, too. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll, you know what? We'll call him that guy. To be that sure guy. thing. <laughs> so he's found Retro, gonna deal some damage there, and then just back off. Doesn't wanna doesn't want to die. That's actually really smart play there. So to see a couple of players do some damage and realize, look, I'm going to die here if I stay. So may as well continue to be useful to the team by staying alive, grab some health, rather than put myself on a 20 second respawn timer. Uh, that's the tough part that I see a lot of people, and you know, and even some of the mentors I've seen talking about. It's like, okay, well, now you've got good DM. What you need to do now is stop like suiciding or something. You know, oh, yeah. Better, better game sense, as it were. Stay alive so you can help your team for a long, longer period of time. Yeah, that, that, that's something that takes a lot of players a while to learn. That that game sense, you know, they'll come in coming from bubs and you know be looking to score lots of points and uh, you know DM their way to victory. But it really is that game sense that really separates the great players from the good. Yeah, Nethel versus Blank, and actually Blank wins that one. He's on fire. He is going to die. So this time around, he did. Uh, did actually suicide in, but got very important pick trading for it. Got uh, got the dispenser actually, which is extremely important. And that's the dispenser, the teleporter. You got that one as well. That's the important part. Oh yeah. And no take down here now on the medic. Good kill there. That's going to slow down the push considerably for Project X. 
Um, I can't actually tell. Is that two minutes and fifty seconds left or so? Uh, two forty-five on mine. Uh, gosh, Reddit's really spread out. This is an interesting uh, attention to me. I, I'm trying to follow the game, and uh, they're just all in different places. Whereas Blue is pretty concentrated. Yeah, the question is, can uh, can the red team actually focus down on a player? Because you can still be spread out and deal a lot of good damage. Oh, but, sure. Uh, but you need to be able to deal that damage to one or two players that you can focus down and deal quickly. You know, switch targets after you're done with that. It seems like the red is not in position to do that so far. They did lose their uh, scout. They took down the sniper. So red's losing a couple players here, and that's, that's not going to be yeah, great. It tends to happen when you get separated. You're going to, you know... Fall off one by one. Oh, spy going for the medic. Now they spotted him though. The shocker saw that spy going for him. All the communication. Now they're doing a good job of sort of forming a perimeter around medic. You know, uh, his back hasn't been exposed very much. Moonbase has been getting some good picks, but hasn't uh, has he gotten that medic yet? Oh, Mr. Black. Oh no! Blank with the perfect racket. Mr. Uh, Mr. Black was trying to preserve the Uber, and I was gonna say he was doing a pretty good job because he want you know if he popped the Uber before they got to the Sentry, it basically would have the Uber. They need the Ubers for the Sentry, so it was a wise decision to not pop it. But oh, that rocket from Mr. Or from Blank just taking down so fast. No, I just crashed. Huh? What, what's your stream URL, Sal? Um, it is for my viewers. Slash fat mop, F -A -T -M -O -P. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and watch your perspective. Yeah? Gotcha. Well, we've got uh, the shocker sitting on the dispenser, eating the sandwich. Make sure you get that health up as fast as possible. Retro, very low on health right now after that reflect rush. Uh, but 60 seconds left for the cart to get pushed in there, or else Project X, you know, they got a decent time on the first three points, but they will not get the fourth one. Makes it, of course, a lot, uh, a lot tougher for them to win because they then have to either defend that third point or, well, I mean, they have to defend the third point pretty much. Unless their opponents are just really slow about capping. Right. Steve Chat's asking, by the way, when your next game is. Is that going to be Monday? My, uh, yeah, Monday, uh, uh, 6.30 in standard time. That'll be the last of the season. This uh, glorious oh, yeah, right. season 7. So when does the fall season start? Or do they know yet? I don't know if that's been decided. I think it's typically uh, just a couple weeks, not a really big great period. So, you know, people are going to be shuffling team rosters and all that good stuff. Oh yeah, there's going to be some exciting lineup changes everywhere. Some new teams too. I, I uh, Rumor has it Hard Blue is forming a team. Oh nice. Might have some invites in it. You never know. He is an invite. Um, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably going to be stacked. There you go. But, uh, that's a, uh, that's guess what, Hard Blue? There's going to be another stack team this season. Oh, yeah? Is he talking Look about the here? I might be. You might? All right. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I would like to see, uh, I would like to see the invite rule actually lifted. What's your thoughts on that? Oh, definitely. You know, uh, I think that might have been a concern back in, back in the earlier days when UGC was starting out, but now it's so big, and, uh, we see a lot of Sixes players coming over and trying out half, uh, Islander, um, it's really time, you know, and, and we'll see some better play, you know? It'll just be better Islander the, with better players. That's you know? pretty much my thought, and um, XCV's looking at trying to get, you know, we're, we're always pushing for allowing more inviters, and even, I think at this point, you could probably get, uh, you know, a full, at least team of four, four teams, four full invite teams, probably. Because they'd be oh, interested yeah. in trying it out. And to them, of course, it's it's still going to be not as serious as Sixes, because Sixes is, strategically, it's easier to wrap your head around. And so there's, there's uh, it's sort of like playing basketball versus, like, uh, Mission begins in 10 football, seconds. as far as the strategy goes. Football's much more chaotic than basketball is, right? Absolutely. But, I think uh, the other thing is, it's very hard to get nine people together to scrim four days yeah. a week. Let me tell you, as a captain, that is near an impossibility. So Sixes, you know, they have the ability to really hunker down Grim just like crazy. Well, for, Ooh, again, got a possible spike pick coming in right off the bat. Oh, he misses the medic. Ooh, misses the heavy. Oh no, the boost. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have watched him. I broke the rules. <laughs> I'm gonna watch Moonbear now. He is on the cloak dagger again, which seems to be a pretty effective, uh, effective choice for this map. But the Pyro's spotting him out, so he's not gonna get that uh, sentry down anytime soon. And uh, I tell you, Project X has this sentry location. It doesn't seem like it's the perfect location. It's more protected, but it's actually going to take that pretty fast. I usually see it yeah. on the top of that roof, right? 
That probably would have been better if it reached the cart from that you know, vantage. They had people pushing the cart the whole way, and Sentry really didn't do anything to stop him, slow him down. Yeah, Max Lander just gathered up around the cart right now, and they are looking strong so far. Now remember, if they cap the third point before Project X tapped it, then, uh, <laughs> then uh, of course they're gonna. Uh, they're gonna win that, but if they don't cap it in a third point faster, then they have the opportunity to cap the fourth point and still win. So they get they get two choices here because their uh, their opponent didn't cap that fourth point. Uh, no take once again, looking like really solid scout routes going in after medic. Not quite able to finish him off, but he did get a lot of damage done there. Oh, shocker! Just barely trying to defend his med, not able to do it. Oh. Uh. Like down. That goes down to a flanking sniper, or no, the, the, the heavy was flanking and the sniper took the distraction and headshot the medic. That was interesting. <laughs> I don't know how a heavy flanks. Well, you know, it occasionally does happen. Uh, especially if the med isn't keeping, like, full-time heals on that heavy and the really aggressive guy. Sometimes they'll just go for, like, a roaming heavy. It sounds yeah. stupid, but it can work. It worked out. Yeah, it did. Wow, uh, blue all over the cart now, but this is going to be tough. This tunnel is rough. There are no flanks. Uh, they're going to have to push up to this door on the left. Usually what the teams do is instead of continuing through the right, they push up to this doorway here, then they go left. They try to push out from there instead of braving the tunnel all the way. Right now, the so we'll see if they can do that. Is watching that. And, uh, he's, he's got kind of a lockdown on the health kit in here, so... Hang out as long as he wants, pretty much, I think, and, and nobody's gonna be able to test it unless there's like an Uber or a, a lot of scam coming in. He does get flanked just a little bit, but he takes down flank. So he's gonna be happy about that. His uh, his team, though, is starting to push forward to the right hand side. Ooh! Medic just went down to uh, Moon there. Oh. That's gonna be. And where is. Uh oh, looks like the server's changing level. Nice. Well, uh, I think we know what happened there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because if they're changing level that fast, it means the map is over. So Project X lost that one. The uh, the cart was pushed all the way before time ran out to the third point. And so that's why they, they changed so fast. I would like to see the action, of course, but it seems like the sentry wasn't even set up on that catwalk yet. So we're on to the next map. We're on to the next, uh, next part of this scrim between Max Lander and Project X. And uh, did you see any players that you thought really stood out there? Uh, you know, I, I'm a, I always have my eyes on the spies. Um, I did notice uh, our possibly uh, e ESEA invite soldier. Was, no, not invite. Yeah. I'm sorry. The, this mysterious... No, he, I think he has been an invite before. Not this okay, this, this mysterious possible invite character was doing some nice jumping. Um, I, I always admire that. And I, I was really interested by Moonbear's choice of running the Cloak and Dagger, even on blue. Um, that's always a treat to see Spy running kind of an unorthodox loadout. Cool, yeah. And, and I mean, he was doing pretty well. Cloak and Dagger actually has more viability, I think, in Highlander and Sixes than it does in pub play. Um, but we are on to the next map, so I'm going to restart my video.